Welcome ulit sa ating channel mga katulay sa tagumpay. Sa video ito ay magre-review naman tayo tungkol sa training na isang sub-test para sa Philippine Air Force General Classification Test o PAFGCT. Ito ay isa pang klase ng exam na dapat mong maipasa bukod sa APSAT exam para makapasok ka sa Philippine Air Force. Hindi ko magagarantiya kung lalabas ang mga items na ito sa mismong exam. Pero reviewin na lang natin para madagdagan pa ang kaalaman natin. Gayun din ay baka na lang din lumabas sa exam. Kung di nyo pa napapanood ang mga nauna pa nating mga video ay huwag mag-alala dahil nasa taas lang ng video ito ang mga link para doon. Hali kayo at simulan na natin ang pagre-review. 1. What is the primary training institution for aspiring officers in the Philippine Air Force PAF? A. Philippine Military Academy PMA. B. Air Education, Training, and Doctrine Command AETDC. C. Philippine Air Force Flying School PAFFS. D. Philippine National Police Academy PNPA. Correct answer. C. Philippine Air Force Flying School PAFFS. Explanation. The Philippine Air Force Flying School PAFFS is the institution responsible for training future pilots and officers for the Philippine Air Force. 2. Which aircraft is commonly used for basic flight training in the Philippine Air Force? A. Lockheed C-130 Hercules. B. Cessna 172. C. FA-50PH Fighting Eagle. D. Bell UH-1 Huey. Correct answer. B. Cessna 172. Explanation. The Cessna 172 is a popular choice for basic flight training due to its simplicity and reliability, commonly used in training programs worldwide. 3. What is the duration of the Officer Candidate School OCS program for aspiring officers in the Philippine Air Force? A. 6 months. B. 1 year. C. 2 years. D. 4 years. Correct answer. B. 1 year. Explanation. The Officer Candidate School OCS program in the Philippine Air Force typically lasts for one year, providing comprehensive training for officer candidates. 4. Which of the following is not a phase of pilot training in the Philippine Air Force? A. Primary training. B. Advanced training. C. Intermediate training. D. Specialized training. Correct answer. C. Intermediate training. Explanation. In the Philippine Air Force, pilot training usually consists of primary, advanced, and specialized training phases. 5. What is the primary purpose of survival training in the Philippine Air Force? A. To learn survival skills in hostile environments. B. To enhance physical fitness. C. To improve marksmanship. D. To develop leadership abilities. Correct answer. A. To learn survival skills in hostile environments. Explanation. Survival training in the Philippine Air Force focuses on equipping personnel with the skills and knowledge necessary to survive in various environments, including hostile ones. 6. Which institution is responsible for providing technical training for maintenance personnel in the Philippine Air Force? A. Philippine Military Academy PMA. B. Air Education, Training, and Doctrine Command AETDC. C. Philippine Air Force Technical Training School PAFTTS. D. Philippine Air Force Flying School PAFFS. Correct answer. C. Philippine Air Force Technical Training School PAFTTS. Explanation. The Philippine Air Force Technical Training School PAFTTS is tasked with providing technical training for maintenance personnel in the Philippine Air Force. 7. What is the duration of basic military training for enlisted personnel in the Philippine Air Force? A. 1 month. B. 3 months. C. 6 months. D. 1 year. Correct answer. C. 6 months. Explanation. Basic military training for enlisted personnel in the Philippine Air Force typically lasts for 6 months, covering essential military skills and knowledge. 8. Which aircraft is commonly used for pilot training in the Philippine Air Force? A. F-16 Fighting Falcon. B. Air Machi S-211. C. Airbus H-125. D. Bell AH-1 Cobra. 
Correct answer. B. Airmachi S-211. Explanation. The Airmachi S-211 is a jet trainer aircraft commonly used for pilot training in the Philippine Air Force. 9. What is the primary focus of leadership training in the Philippine Air Force? A. Tactical combat maneuvers. B. Administrative duties. C. Character development and ethical decision making. D. Technical skills proficiency. Correct answer. C. Character development and ethical decision making. Explanation. Leadership training in the Philippine Air Force emphasizes the development of character and ethical decision-making abilities among personnel. 10. Which of the following is not a specialization track available for officers in the Philippine Air Force? A. Aviation Medicine. B. Intelligence. C. Cybersecurity. D. Logistics. Correct answer. C. Cybersecurity. Explanation. While cybersecurity is an important aspect of modern military operations, it is not typically offered as a specialization track for officers in the Philippine Air Force. 11. Which training program prepares personnel for operating and maintaining specialized equipment such as radar systems in the Philippine Air Force? A. Electronics Warfare Training. B. Radar Operations Course. C. Technical Maintenance Course. D. Special Weapons Training. Correct answer. B. Radar Operations Course. Explanation. The Radar Operations Course in the Philippine Air Force prepares personnel for operating and maintaining radar systems, essential for air defense and surveillance. 12. What is the primary objective of ground combat training for Air Force personnel? A. To prepare for potential ground invasions. B. To enhance coordination with ground forces. C. To develop close quarters combat skills. D. To improve physical fitness. Correct answer. B. To enhance coordination with ground forces. Explanation. Ground combat training for Air Force personnel focuses on enhancing coordination and cooperation with ground forces in joint operations. 13. Which institution provides training for air traffic controllers in the Philippine Air Force? A. Air Education, Training, and Doctrine Command AETDC. B. Philippine Air Force Flying School PAFFS. C. Philippine Air Force Technical Training School PAFTTS. D. Philippine Air Traffic Management Center PATMC. Correct answer. D. Philippine Air Traffic Management Center PATMC. Explanation. The Philippine Air Traffic Management Center PATMC is responsible for providing training for air traffic controllers in the Philippine Air Force. 14. What is the purpose of the combat training course in the Philippine Air Force? A. To train personnel in aerial combat tactics. B. To provide advanced weapons training. C. To prepare for deployments in combat zones. D. To enhance survival skills in hostile environments. Correct answer. C. To prepare for deployments in combat zones. Explanation. The combat training course in the Philippine Air Force prepares personnel for deployments in combat zones by simulating real-world scenarios and honing combat skills. 15. Which training program focuses on developing proficiency in air-to-ground and air-to-air -air combat tactics? A. Close air support training. B. Fighter pilot course. C. Helicopter operations course. D. Search and rescue training. Correct answer. B. Fighter pilot course. Explanation. The fighter pilot course in the Philippine Air Force focuses on developing proficiency in air-to-ground and air-to-air -air combat tactics specifically for fighter pilots. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood mga katulay sa tagumpay. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share at mag-subscribe sa ating channel para lagi kayong updated sa mga susunod pa nating mga video. Sana ay may natutunan kayo at nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo. Good luck at maraming salamat ulit mga katulay sa tagumpay.